Hey everyone, I wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about an omnichannel experience and specifically what that means in the wireless industry. Omnichannel, as I'm sure you know, has been a huge buzzword the past few years. And so breaking that down into what that means for the wireless industry is definitely a unique process. Um, first, what I want to hit home is the importance of the brick and mortar store, especially in something like wireless. But when you look across the board, retail sales in brick and mortar still continue to grow. And in fact, uh, e-commerce sales still only account for 12.6% of overall retail sales. And so it's important to understand both. And I think the greatest use case of that uh, is most recently Amazon's acquisition of Whole Foods for nearly $14 billion. And so while they have been a great uh, success and a super giant in competition for a lot of us online, you can see they still understand that importance of the brick and mortar side of things and that customer experience and using those stores as fulfillment centers. Um, but let's take a huge step back and go through the process of a customer journey um, from a typical standpoint and then talk about what that means um, for wireless and how you can evolve things to meet those omnichannel expectations from your customers. And so typically that customer journey starts online. Uh, that customer is perhaps at home or on their mo mobile device and they're researching the products that they're looking for. They're comparing um, different retailers that offer that product, um, but they also begin to research and understand you. So maybe depending on your carrier mandates, you might not actually be able to sell devices or accessories online, um, but what you can do is sell yourself. And so making sure you're showing store hours or location information, and perhaps even pr pushing pricing and inventory information. So the customer understands that you are a viable option to walk into. Which takes us to the second point. Your customers are perhaps walking past your store. Maybe they aren't even headed necessarily for your destination. Um, perhaps they're headed for your competition. Or they are coming directly to you, but they're coming there with that digital expectation from you that you are a high-tech company and that they'll have that unique experience. So utilizing things like digital signage um, or being consistent with those promotions and those experiences to attract them in store can be really important. But then once they're in store is where a lot of the omnichannel experience can evolve as well. Um, we understand that carriers might be cutting into some of those rate plans or some of those margins and, and uh, even the manufacturers might be cutting into some of your margins. So how do you use an omnichannel experience to increase revenue generators? And one of those components um, can be something like an endless aisle and dropship fulfillment opportunity. So perhaps you don't have the ability to carry everything in stock. You can utilize endless aisle to be consistent with your e-commerce solution and what's within your POS um, to understand if you do have that inventory in stock or if it's something that you can drop ship directly from your supplier so that you can avoid turning your customers away um, to your competition or to that Amazon super giant. Um, but then you can also look at other things. So wearables is another huge opportunity to grow revenue. And so perhaps it's introducing a VR headset for your customer to have a unique experience, um, taking them to a football game within that, that VR headset or whatever that might look like. Um, but then when you think about uh, you know, AT&T's partnership with DirecTV or Verizon's with AOL, what does that partnership look like and how are you promoting that and showing that information? And there's a lot of different things you can do there to create that overall experience that, that bridges you not just from a wireless store, but from a consumer electronics destination. Um, but then when it comes to the actual transaction, uh, what does that look like and how, what visibility do your sales associates have into that POS side of things? So allowing them, again, that, that visibility into inventory um, and pricing is consistent with online or what the customers may have researched themselves. But then also visibility across locations. Um, so perhaps you don't have it in store. Uh, all of that pricing and inventory information should be pushed consistently across each of those channels. And that can be really important at the POS. Um, but also allowing them to increase their attachment rates with something like a dropship product and again that endless aisle side of things. And then what, what I often see is that ability um, for customers to have that one simple transaction is a huge miss for a lot of retailers across the board, not just in the wireless industry. So perhaps it's something that's virtually available, but I'm also activating my phone in store. I want to be able to process all of that on one transaction um, rather than, than turning me away to the online competition. And then we also understand um, from that carrier mandate standpoint that a lot of you don't have the opportunity to follow up with your customers or market to your customers. And that's a huge part of that omnichannel experience. 
So even just providing something like an, an e-receipt of their invoice information, or if they did buy a dropship product, providing those shipping details with your branding, just to have that one final touch point with your customer um, before they bridge back online and, and hopefully revisit you again soon. So omnichannel is definitely an important uh, component, especially in the wireless industry. Um, don't wait for those customers to be coming in for that upgrade or activation or potentially going to your competition for that. Um, bring them back in store and be providing that co consistent and delightful customer experience. Uh, if you want for more information, check out our newest white paper on omnichannel and what that means for wireless.